Okay, what is six and a half inches? Feels really good, and it's something that I have. I need to show you something, and I'm telling you, it's a two years. <laughs> Look what I'm about to show you. It's so cool. <laughs> well, I think I'm done. Oh, wait a minute. I haven't shown you yet. Yes. This little phone makes me a designer. <laughs> I have no sense of color. When I came out of the closet, like, what, 30 years ago, I thought I'd be an interior designer and drinking wine. It took me 20 years to get used to wine and I still have no sense of color. But in this little tool right here, oh, oh, just makes me so excited. You can take photos of anything. Take a photograph of your dog, your house, your furniture, a picture that you really like and put it on here. Oh, oh. It just makes me so excited. This is not a paid advertisement. Wendy showed me this yesterday and I'm like, I am like doing this on everything. I don't usually get this excited on apps. <laughs> One thing that I will tell you, I have the paid version. I bought it yesterday. Um, as I said, it's not a paid advertisement, but the free ads in this particular program really are horrendous it makes you have to wait and i don't have the patience for it but the cost for the program on a year basis or month to month is really quite reasonable and it's something that i'm going to use i'll provide a link in the more information on this video but what we want to download is called crochet studio it's only available for um, mobile devices you can't do it for desktop so i won't push it and it will take you to the home page here of crochet studio you can create a palette and you can also do your settings and you have discovery and palettes and toolboxes down here Let's create a palette. I'm going to just start and you can change the image. So let's find an image of my boyfriend. And so we can just look at all this. Hopefully I didn't take any photos of anything. <laughs> and oh, there he is. Oh, so I'm gonna take a photograph of Salty and I'm gonna choose him and it's gonna change. So now I wanna continue and you can make color palettes. You can name the palette and I wanna continue. So maybe you have a specific yarn you want to play with and it's just giving you some recommendations. So if I want to just uh, search, maybe um, Karen Simply Soft. Okay, just like that. And then I am going to connect suggested yarns. So now all of the palette will match with Karen Simply Soft, the yarns for this. So I can just search through and see what it has chosen for me. And if I don't like anything, I can always change it, even capture some of the blue of his eyes. So I say I want this particular palette. I am going to just choose it and save the changes. And all of a sudden, I now have the color list for Salty. Now, if I don't like something, I can just click on something and say, I don't really like this blue for his eyes. So I can just change things out. So you can just eliminate out and take it out. Okay, so you can always do that and you can always add more yarn if you would like to do that. So now we have this. So we're going to just scroll down and I'm going to create a collage. And when I create the collage, it's going to create this little paint chip like you would see in the painters of all the different things showing that it's Karen Simply Soft, but wait, there's more. You can then just decide that you are done with this and you are going to share this. You can save it to your phone or anything that you would like to do. We can also go back and we can also create a granny square blanket. And you can either design the squares individually using the same colors, or you can just push randomize and it will literally create the magic and do a blanket of just for salty, just like so. But you can do blanket settings. So say you want one, uh, all the connections to be the same. If you want to change the size of your blanket, you can do so. And we can just do the number of rounds. You can change that if you want to. So maybe we want to do more rounds. We make it seven instead. And it will get really quite interesting. Do you want a joining round? And if you want a joining round, you can just assign the color. So let's just say it's taupe and done. And now we're gonna save our changes. And all of a sudden, then you have all the different ideas like this. So now we can click randomize and we're gonna make some magic. And you can see you now have a pattern that is completely random. So if you like to design one square, you can and use it. So we're gonna generate the pattern. So this is what Salty's blanket would look like. So you're gonna be able to uh, generate the PDF 
And so when you generate the PDF, it's going to create the pattern for you. It's going to give you some written instructions and basically all the different uh, types of squares, there will be written instructions for all of it. And you can save this to your device. So it's now downloading and now I get to save it to my files. And now I'm going to be able to look at that in just a few seconds from now. So let's save this and let's go back to my files. If you're never sure where the files are like me, I just put in files and it will show me where that is. And now I can download here and this now is the PDF. It's one page of 17. It shows me how many grams that I would have needed in order to do this blanket, which is awesome, which uh, type of hook was suggested. And then it has the different squares that you see. And then each one of the different squares that you have here, it says how many that you're going to make. So square number five is times one and etc and you just keep on blasting your way through so it has all the different instructions to create all the different combinations that you wanted so you can add more colors to the palette if you really wanted to to have more of a diverse collection isn't that cool so and then at the end it has the instructions on how to do it just like there so you should know that the, this is actually from the uk so treble equals a double crochet so let's just say i'm done so I'm back here and I'm going to change it and I say, you know what, Salty, you're awesome, but I'm going to choose something else. You could take a, a picture in your house of something that you already have and you want to match a blanket to it. So I took a photograph of one of our paintings and so I'm going to choose that one and I'm going to continue along. So it's going to give it the suggested yarns in order to do it. So it has the different brands. So if you are, are wanting it just to play with other brands, just let it go and you can choose as many or as little that you want. So let's just say I'm going to go with the Sudar right there. So we're gonna choose this color palette and we're going to save it. So now we have the color uh, selections for this. So if you want to select more, you can actually add more yarns. So we can just say, okay, I'm gonna add copper to it and I'm really gonna mess up. And you can see that the palette is adding more yarn to it, All right? So. So this is when it's gonna get dicey for me, whether I'm a designer or not. So I'm going to save my changes, and all of a sudden I have a new one here, and I can just scroll down and look at the collage. So now I have a paint chip for that, and that's just really quite awesome. You may wanna label your colors A, B, C, D, E, F, and et cetera. And you can also go back and then create a blanket. Maybe you want stripes this time. So you can generate your pattern, and you can do a palette. You can either drag the colors onto it, and put it in a certain order if you really wanted to. You can also do the same with granny squares if you wanted to do that as well. Or you can click randomize and let the AI completely do it. So it comes up with a palette and let's generate the pattern. So this is what it would look like then in stripes if it was being really truly random. So this is something that you can really do. You can generate your PDF and have it downloadable to have the instruction to be able to match something like this. So I'm gonna do another one. I really like the way that our house looks in spring with all the different flowering trees. So we can just choose this and let's see what colors that it's gonna come up with. And we're gonna continue. So you can choose your yarns or do the suggested and see all the different colors that it will come up with. And I'll just choose this one and then I'll save my changes. So you, again, you can just scroll on down and make your collage to go with it. And there's everything that you wanna go. So you can share it, you can download it. Um, you can grow a granny square blanket. So maybe you just want to let it be really quite random. So let's just say that I want um, the maximum eight rounds per granny square. And I want to put it nine by nine. And now we're going to save our changes. And I'm just going to let the end, uh, the end round just finish the way it should. So now we're just going to save it. And I'm going to click randomize. And we're going to make some magic. So now we're going to generate the pattern and this would be a blanket then that would actually feature my home. So that's kind of a really neat idea and I think it's a really cool tool. I think it's worth the investment and I think you'll have a lot of fun playing with this. Pretty cool, right? Leave me a comment. What do you think? Something for crocheters that makes sense.